Thanksgiving today is wow. Wow. So many brothers and sisters here today. It took my breath. My was born in these mountains. My family have been, has been poisoned in these mountains. I lost my daddy to the coal mines. Our brothers and sisters stood here today and said no more. Because our forefathers had our, the backbone like my grandfather did to say, hell no. This is our land. This is our children. And this is our people. Just like Maya Angelou said, I'll rise. By God, we're rising. one Vicki Terry, one real special woman, one special woman sometimes, her voice is kind of silent, so I want you all to hear this, because this voice just deserves to be loud, it deserves to be heard, it deserves for all of us to go, wow, thank you for all that you've done. I'm giving you time to get up here. This is Vicki Terry, I'm going to help you be up on this rock, here we go. I'm from Campbell County, Tennessee, I've been coming up here for, I'm, Campbell County, Tennessee, I'm happy to be here. I have no more people here in West Virginia in my own state, but I come up here to fight with you guys because I'm hoping you guys help me because I want to save my home. <laughs> Trust me, there is mountaintop removal going on in Tennessee. It is ridiculous. And trust me, we're just right along with you. We just don't have as many mountains. And I really just want to thank every one of you. I take it personally. Like, you're not just here to say Blair Mountain or Indian Mountains. You're here helping me say my home. I am scared to death, and I don't want to lose my home. Yeah. And I'm nervous, so please let me go. <laughs> we love you. I can't see him in range. I want Joe Stanley to come up to the front right now. He's right here. He's right here. He's union strong. He's union proud. He's going to get up on this rock, and you all are going to give him some love. I'm going to help you. Yes. <laughs> I'm here to help you, buddy. All right, let's give it up for Joe Stanley. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Joe Stanley. I was born and raised in Mingo County, West Virginia. I currently live in Wayne County in a town called Pritchard, West Virginia. I'm a retired UMWA coal miner. Um, I'm sorry that it's hot and disgusting and uh, a tough deal. And I have an immense amount of respect for every one of you people. And I saw true courage all this week, and I saw true courage today. I wish that the union that I'm a member of had endorsed this union on uh, this walk at the international level. It didn't. I apologize for the United Mine Workers' idiotic decisions over the last 15 years that have cost our membership so dearly. Hey, people. I don't know how to fix this, but these people that live here are facing a tough situation. They've manipulated this system. If they, they have union coal mines here for a reason. This is not an accident. We didn't get here by accident. These union coal mines could be eliminated in one day. They could shut them down, move down the road one mile, and open up non-union. Yep. They're only here to divide and conquer us the way they have for the last 120 years. I don't want to make a lot of people mad here. I'm not anti-coal. I'm pro-people and I'm anti-mountaintop removal. <laughs> The price that we have to pay for mountaintop removal is too severe. The cost to our people's health, our ecological systems, and our environment is too great. And not only does it affect us immediately with the deforestation and the eradication of thousands of species 
including bear, squirrel, rabbits, deer, mosquitoes, everything along the food chain. The valley fields that are created according to OSM will continue to leach heavy metals for approximately 500 years. These areas, if we don't stop this idiocy, this craziness, will be uninhabitable within 15 to 20 years because there will be no clean water. I thank everyone for coming out here. I appreciate all your efforts, and I'm going to just try to keep it short and sweet. But thanks, everybody, and I wish I could have done more.